If you're interested in apparel that shows off your adventurous ways like rappelling, sailing, and outdoor travel with your dog, check out the links in the description and keep yourself and others inspired. All right, welcome back to Adventures in Reach. Part of my goal here with Adventures in Reach is to give you guys some encouragement that you can get out there and do a lot of these uh, trips and activities that I am doing and showing you on the channel. And so one thing here uh, that I wanted to show you is what I'm working on currently. This is actually uh, a paddle that was being thrown away. And basically what this was is that there was this paddle that had, you know, the, the shaft and then half of the paddle blade and the other part had, had fallen off. And so what I did was just take a, um, a hatchet and just kind of hammer it down through this crack until this popped off. So I'm starting with a fresh piece. Now I took a, a piece of cedar here as well, just free that somebody was getting rid of. Essentially what I'm doing now is just planing down uh, these two boards that I glued on here. Okay, so here I just took the half of the paddle blade and then traced around on both sides. Now I'm just going to cut around this line. If I haven't mentioned already, I'll let you know that this paddle is probably what I'll be putting onto my sunfish uh, when I'm not on super long trips, when I want uh, quick, easy access to the canoe paddle versus having the kind of long distance mode of the kayak paddle. Okay, so you can see I've got this all cut out. It actually looks kind of like a paddle. Uh, I could probably use it just like this. I will now need to kind of shape these out a little bit. Uh, we don't want it that thick. We want it more like this. So we're gonna have to take about half of the material off of here. All right, so moving right along here with the paddle, uh, I've got it kind of narrowed down at the edges. I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down and try to get it into, you know, get any of these little raised areas so they're nice and smooth and flush. <laughs> I've got it sanded down nice. It's a, uh, you know, 90% solution. You could probably sand it a little more, but it's looking pretty good to me. What I'm going to do is just put this fiberglass on here and I cut it a little bit bigger than the paddle blade. And so I'm going to kind of have a sheet on each side. I'm not going to do the edges because the point of this is to keep uh, these little joints from flexing. And so I'm not, I'm not really concerned about the edge of the paddle. So what I'm using here is just some Bondo fiberglass resin. Just, you just kind of glob it on, go for another. If you find any bubbles in this thing, you can just kind of poke down with the uh, paintbrush. You just want to get the air out and make sure that that fiberglass cloth is clear. You should be able to see the wood through it everywhere. Our garage is heated with the wood stove. And so just trying to keep it warm for the night. All right, here we go. I'm back at it. So coated both the sides and uh, yeah. I've mixed up another bit of resin. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this very fine uh, wood dust. This is like sanding, the powder from sanding. Now I'm just going to throw that all in here, um, kind of should be a little bit at a time. You know, you kind of want it like a toothpaste consistency. All right, so here's about half of it. Don't worry about the cardboard sticking since that will be sanded off later. Just kind of squish it onto there. And then just kind of push it in. Make sure it's tight in there. All right, check it out. So this homemade rock guard on here just is nice and dry and we're going to get rid of a bunch of this so what i like to use because it's super fast is one of these sanding discs that goes on a drill they're just they're just so fast efficient so you're going to grind this down quick so there we go and check it out it's not perfect but it's pretty dang good
So here is the final product. And I went from the broken off blade to this nice uh, restored paddle. And again, everything is uh, coated. It's got that marine varnish on it and is set to go. So you'll be seeing this on some upcoming canoe and sunfish sailing adventures.